Good morning. Welcome to Hangout and Art. This is a live stream with a live audience in chat. We hang out, we talk about art, we work on art projects, we share ideas, and hopefully get inspiration for, from each other. These are tutorials. We just share ideas, um, and hopefully people get inspired. So if you have any questions, ask them in caps. If I don't see them, somebody in the audience will will know um there's lots of lots of interesting and great artists that come and watch and they're happy to answer questions in chat so how is everybody today hi riri dar Juanita. hi candy How's everybody doing today? We'll just hang out for a few minutes, let people get here. I'm going to show some of the tags I'm making for the Hangout and Art Tag Swap. I got some happy mail. I got some uh, mail from Johnny from her junk journal shop, some things I bought. Good. Riri's way good. That's good. Oh, sorry if there's sorry if there's a little bit of noise. They're trimming the they're trimming the grass. So, so what's everybody been working on? Anything interesting? Hopefully, everybody got the email about the tag swap. Um, there are a few people I don't have emails from is there a laura shimmel does anybody know a laura shimmel that signed up for the swap nashua i need to get an email from her i think there was one more person i'll have to check hey dorothy hi eileen i know I, eileen i was lurking a little bit but i was good yeah, Eileen and Colleen were over at Shannon O. She is a she dyes papers and does all kinds of cool stuff and has a ton of stuff up in her shop. If you want to put her link up, I don't know if you have it, Eileen. Maybe not. Um, hey, Flo. Hi, Janet. Dorothy. Okay. Devin, I've got some happy mail from you that I'm going to show today. Thank you so much. It's perfect. It's going to get me started on my black and white journal. I mean, I haven't started a little bit, but this will get me motivated to do more of it. Hey Kimberly, hey, how's your how's your uh, potting shed going? Have you posted pictures yet? Jack, no bark. Oh, what I I missed Mary yesterday. What did she make? Jack, no bark. Jack, they're cutting the grass. It's okay. I'll have to go back and we'll see what Mary made. Also, Colleen's going to be here. And she's do, thinking of doing a um, a little a snippet swap. Her and Janet were talking yesterday on Janet's stream, Janet Nash. So I think she, um, we're going to talk about that and see if people are interested in that. And then what I was thinking, if there's enough people, hey, Ingrid, how are you? Um, if there's people that want to do it like overseas, and then if there's people in the U.S., I haven't talked to Colleen about this, but maybe like Janet could do the, over, you know, the overseas European people, and then Colleen could do all the U.S. people. But um, so we'll see. I'm not sure what Colleen has up her sleeve, but I just thought about that because I know it could, it could it'll get complicated 
if there's a lot of people overseas, if there's enough people overseas, it would be quicker on each side to have two separate, you know, to have two different places to ship. So we'll see. We'll see what she says. Okay, Eileen put up the link for Shannon. Oh, she has awesome papers. Oh, wait, no, not Shannon. Oh, it's Michelle. Shannon O is somebody else who does jelly prints. I was watching both their streams yesterday. Good question, Devin. It's hard. You never know. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? So is everybody working on their tags? I actually have another tag to make for another tag swap today. There's Colleen. Nash, Nashua, send me your email so I can give you the information for the, for the swap, okay? I'll put my email in here. Oops. Okay. There's my email. Send me your send me your email so I can send out the information. Oh, and I guess I forgot to put in the information sheet. I'll send a new information sheet to everyone. The uh, due date for the tags is September 18th. Cheryl's working on her tags. <laughs> okay, this is kind of interesting. Flo just said, Devin, I've been meaning to talk to you about leaving your body parts all over the place. <laughs> and yes, Devin, don't forget the 59. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Colleen's here. I get distracted. It's one of those mornings, I think. Hey, Colleen. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I woke up to crack it on today. What's wrong with me? Oh, I woke up at 7 a.m., man. I, like, oh my I gosh. never wake up at 7 a.m. So here's the big question. Did you get up? I did. Well, I did later about twenty minutes, and I was like, I give up. I can't fall back to sleep. Oh, wow! So you've, gosh, you've been up for a while. Yeah, that's a, that's unbelievable for me. I think because I actually went to bed at normal time. I went to bed at noon. At noon. Noon. I'm sorry. At midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, you were really tired. <laughs> I slept till you know, seventeen, eighteen hours. <laughs> You feel really good today. <laughs> feel real good. That's a lot of sleep. Yeah, I've been getting up. I actually today I slept in. I was I slept till seven, but I've been getting up like at five thirty the past. Oh, month. this I've been sleeping in for you, and that's a crack it on for me. Uh, How many have I had? I've had four. <laughs> oh, four Dr. Peppers. Four Dr. Peppers so far. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Riley wants to know what's in the Dr. Pepper if you went to sleep at noon. <laughs> yeah, there must have been some definitely uh, uh, the opposite of ca no caffeine, what? Caffeine free Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, speaking of which, I'm going to get my Diet Coke and then I'm going to um, I'm going to show my tags. I'm going to show my happy mail. I got some stuff from Johnny and cool. then I'll hand it over to you. I think, did you want to talk about the snippet swap today? Okay. Okay. So let me get my Diet Coke and we can get started. And then I don't really have anything planned on what I'm going to work on. I'm work on some tags. I'm going to work on some tags. I want to finish up my, I've been working on my August my August file folder for Kathy Arbor's for Kathy Arbor's thing. So that's probably what I'm going to work on today. But um, 
I wanted to show my tags. Hope everybody got the email with all the details. They're due September, September 18th. And um, I made three tags. The one thing I wanted to let people know, they do not all need to be the same. As long as they're black and white with a pop of color, um, you can do whatever you want. If you want to make them all the same, if that's what you know, you're know you used to doing, if you do ATC swaps, you can do that. Hey, Patty. Um, but basically, you can do you can do 10 or 12 different, different tags if you want to. And make sure somewhere on the on the back of the tag you put your name so everybody knows who the tag came from what i like doing on mine here's a few that i made i just used some scrapbook paper i used some of my my vintage ledger paper which i cut out pieces of some vintage lace i have these uh i have a bunch of charms that i like using so i either attach them with some yarn or I glue them right onto the tag, a bit of sari ribbon. And then on the back, I put a paper from a vintage book. And then here's what I like doing on the back. I like to put a little card. It tells what the swap is. It's hangout and art. It's a black and white tag swap. They're due September. It's in September, 2020. So I remember when I made it and then I just put my name. I like that. Yeah. So if you want, I mean, you can put a little card. You can write on the back. Just have your name and the date. Whatever you want to do. I kind of like to just know like what the tag was for. But that's just me. But make sure you put your name somewhere on the card so we know, so everybody knows who made the card. And yeah. um, and with Peggy, what I'm going to do with hers, I have her business card. I'm just going to attach hers onto the back of her tag. So if you have a card that you use, you can put that on the tag, just so everybody knows who they came from. Let me uh, pull in a little bit so you can see these. I'll show you. So I've got three done, and I've got to make about 30. So, But they're fun to make. They're really a lot of fun. And it, once you get started, it goes pretty fast. Okay. All right. So this one, this one has little dangly charm. That's the one I showed you. So there's these three are kind of similar but different. So then, no, no bigger than a size eight, Teresa. Yeah, no bigger than a size eight. Any it would size. be this one here, the yeah. biggest size you see here, and it, it could be smaller. It can be wider, but no taller than this. Yeah. In a size eight, but it can be, you know, shorter. Like hers are kind of short and wider, and that's fine too. And we used to have them hanging out of our books that were. Yeah, making. yeah. Helen has Helen put that up there, and that should be on the information sheet. I'll double check that too because I have to add the date that it's due, and I'll make sure that's on there. Okay, so this is just another one, kind of similar. I use the the uh, vintage ledger paper. Uh, with these, I just glued the charm on instead of having it dangling. And all I did really was I took my pop of color was my my ribbon, and I just took an ink with a little with a little foamy thing and and you know swatched it down here, and that's it. That was my pop of color. B charm. Oh, yeah, and nice. and I would say don't go any thicker. Than that, yeah, because that's really, small really one. It's not yeah. too bulky. Yeah, you can do. I mean, you can add embellishments. Just don't get them really bulky because that'll keep the price of the price of the um, postage down. And then here's the other one I did with the sun, and I just put shine. So yeah, so these are fun. Once you get into it, they're actually they go pretty fast. So hopefully today I'll get some more tags done, and that'll be fun. And then oh, I got. Then, which group is Teresa in? How many tags does she need? Okay, Teresa is twelve. Twelve tags, Teresa. Yeah, I did. I thought I did respond. I I did send back an email. I mean, you may not have gotten it yet. So I put you. I put you down for twelve. Okay. And Anne is down for twelve. Anybody who who said they wanted to do more tags, I put in the twelve group. And then it, by the end of the week, if anybody else wants to be in the swap, I'll add them to that group or 
and after Friday, I won't add anybody. Yes, on this one, Amazon, um, Eileen enabled me. She told me I needed this. <laughs> to be yep. with yep. I got one too. And it has the little hole thing, which is neat too, for the top of each tag. I think that's nice. Okay, so those are my tags I've been working on. Then I got some happy mail. Oh, she's going to check. She didn't see the email. No email, but I will check. Okay, but you're in the 12 group. You're in the 12 group, and I did send one out that has all the information on it, but I'll be sending an updated one with the date and anything else I might have missed. So, okay, so here, let me take the envelope away. Is there a whole thingy? That works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I got great happy mail from Devin. She sent me stuff to start my black and white to use in my black and white journal. So this is getting really motivated. Carla said I needed these too. She was in agreement with the uh, with Eileen. <laughs> I know. I guy broke down and got them too, but I'm glad I have them now. I like all the little, I like all the different sizes. It, even the itty bitty, that might be more like the jewelry size. Remember I was looking for the itty bitty tags. And I was like, what yes. size is that? And it's like the itty bitty, like jewelry size one. Oh, I'm thinking of a whole bunch of stuff now that you could do that. Now that you mentioned that. Cause yeah. you use the mini tags to decorate your bigger tags. I mean, you, you could. Look how cute these are. I was thinking that. You could have it, you know. Also, I was thinking you could take your little thing you printed out uh -huh. and have it, like, on a, attached to, like, on a tag on the back. But beneath you, one, you could rotate. Oh, just put it on a little string. Oh, that's a good idea, Colleen. Like, so it would rotate if you want to decorate both sides and then right. be blocking it and it would kind of like rotate. Does that, oh, make that would be good. Cause you know what I was thinking of those little mini tags for use those with that metal tape. We mean we need people in the um, tent and we have exactly 10 in the second and third group. So if you would join uh, one of those, you would be, we need to we be one other person. You would be at the 12 tags. If no, if anybody to, wants to, I'm, yeah. I'll just add people to the, I'll add. I, 10 I will add. become 11 and then, you know, I mean, in 12 and yeah. 11. Yeah, if anybody wants to join, I'll fit you in by the end of the week. 11 won't work out. You can't split a tag. I'm, I'm not awake, clearly. Now, if anybody, if anybody <laughs> wants to, um, to join, you make ten, between 10 and 12. 10 to 12 tags. Yeah, so it, uh, just email Kathy, and she can add you to the group, or she can write you now, and then you can email her later. Do you want to be in the group, Riri? Yeah, I'll make a note, and I'll look for your email, and then I'll get back to you if I don't hear from you. All right. And it could be any, they don't have to be all, it don't have to be like 10 or 12 of the same. It can be 12 different ones. You know, it doesn't have to be the same so you don't get bored like with the ATCs. But as long as it's black and white with one pop of color, anything, paper, paint, whatever, whatever you like, die cuts, collage. And, and you can do different ones. You don't have to do all the same, which is nice. Because that's why I don't like doing ATC swaps. Because I don't like making 20 of the same thing. It, that would bore me. That, that's why I don't do those. Okay. So, <laughs> Teresa. Teresa, are you in? Do you want to be in the swap? Because I don't think I had you on the original list. Let me look. I don't think I have Teresa. I'm with Peter, man. I wonder oh, if I don't. Oh, she isn't on the list. Okay, so I'll add Teresa. Teresa, send me your um, send me your email, and I'll get you the information. I okay. think with the two Teresas, I entered with up. Teresa, yeah, with Teresa Church and Riri, we got twelve in this column. If she if we read slides, there we got twelve, and this becomes twelve. Yeah, so I'll just that, don't, would, be, that would be perfect. Okay, and I haven't really. I mean, the groups may change. Nobody else got the list of groups but us, Colleen. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, um, so I can make sure everybody gets the right number. So, but that was just <laughs> for you and Eileen to make sure I got everybody. <laughs> it's a secret. Sorry. No, it's not. They just may change depending on how many people are making. So Patty said she'd make 12. Anybody who wants to make 12, let me know and I'll put you down. There are some people that just want it to do 10. Teresa, I'll put you in a group. And I think I've got one other. I think Riri's going in too. Yay, she said, count her in. Yay. Okay. All right. Now we got even numbers. Perfect. Okay, good. So I've got Teresa in and maybe Riri. I'll be looking to hear from her. In. Okay, good. Good. And then, Pat okay, perfect. Anybody just email me. And who? Oh, hi, CB. Cool. Now we have two groups of 12. Yeah, we should have two groups of 12. So I will finalize the numbers with everybody. Okay. Um, by the end of the week. Okay. Thanks, Teresa. Sorry about that. That's why I've been. That's why I wanted to send out lists and bring it up in ch in chat to make sure I got everybody. Okay. So, any more questions on the tags? If not, I'll show you my happy mail. Okay. Okay, and also email me. Email me, and then I'm also going to figure out how to put the information up on the YouTube video underneath. I'm sure it's easy. I just haven't taken the time to figure out how to do it. So I will get. Okay, CB said she has 12 done. Okay, okay. So she can go in a 12 group. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. I figured 12 wasn't. Thank yes, because then there was a question like, we'll do 10, but then make sure Colleen and I get one, and then we got a whole bunch of people. So, okay, perfect. Okay, Nashua, perfect. Thank you, Nashua. If you can make 12, we really, we're really we kind of thinking groups of 10, and then and then Kathy, uh, Kathy and I would be 12 in, in each group. We would be, we'd be 12 counting us, and we that way we would make send tags to all three groups. Yeah, so that would be perfect if you if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, so it'll um, all the information's in. We already at this point get two groups of twelve, so yeah, yeah. So it'll work out. Tanya's doing twelve. That's good, Tanya, because I put you in the twelve group. I figured you wanted twelve. Twelve, so we could have. Uh, we can have one. Would be great. Okay, good. And Nash is on the list. Okay, good. Is Nash on your list? Yes, she is. And she just sent me her email so I can oh, get the information here. back. Okay. Oh, your asterisk. Aren't you fancy? Candy. And the only one I wasn't sure about was that Laura Schimmel. Does anybody know Laura Schimmel? And then Jen's Artland, I figured out, was was uh, Jennifer Dalton. So oh, she what is her... Um, her her name on here i think her name is laura shimmel i don't think she has a different name no i know i don't know who she is so if anybody knows her to let her know yeah that you need her email yeah oh you know laura okay Teresa, tell laura to email me i haven't i didn't see an email from her and i'm also i'm using gmail for the swap because i have i have outlook with my regular email and I get so much spam and stuff in there. I want to keep, I'm going to start using my Gmail for all my art stuff. So hopefully stuff doesn't get lost. Oh, thanks Teresa. That's perfect. She can let, I mean, you see her in chat somewhere, let her just for, let her know. Okay. Cause tell her, I've got her on the list. I just hadn't heard from her. So, all righty. So it sounds like it's going good. People are getting their, doing their, Tags and I think it'll be fun. Tamar has twelve. Thanks, Tambit. Okay. okay, fun. Very fun. Tambit has twelve. Okay. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tambit. And that's perfect. Everybody's cranking them out. I haven't even started mine. <laughs> I need to get going. Well, I think it's been so long. I mean, it's been a while since I've done a swap of any kind, and this will be the first one I'm hosting. I just think it's kind of fun. It's like that time of year. It's like fall, back to school. Well, it's like the time to start new projects. Busy, you know what I mean? Closer yeah. holidays, everyone gets busier. 
it's like this is the time to start agree okay so i got this cool happy mail from Devin, you had gotten a pack, Colleen, and she yeah. packed it all up in cute little papers. Oh, I love how everybody packed it. <laughs> My tags are in pieces and now I have to put them together. <laughs> well, that's a good start, Eileen. Make sure you put them together and don't send them all separate in separate pieces. <laughs> if you do, stick them all in a, an envelope for each tag. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> say that she might. <laughs> oh, you okay. have a hurricane, Tanya. Oh, fun to make you. Oh, that'll keep you. Yeah, it'll keep you busy. See the tropical storm zone. Oh boy. Yeah, because that's Laura's. Laura's coming through with a bang this week. Marco oh. kind of petered out. Yeah. Is that pretty? That is pretty. Oh, that pretty I like, ribbon. I like that. Like that's really. Did she color it herself? I don't think so. It's like it's like almost like material. I wonder if she cut this out of material. She might have. And I am going to use this today because I'm in another tag swap where I have to use blue and orange. Ha ha. That's perfect. So it that's is. used. It was in Houston. Okay. Pretty. Oh, so she embossed a bunch of papers. She embossed some vellum. <gasps> Cool napkins. Ooh. Oh, dollar store ribbon. That's pretty dollar store ribbon. Oh, that was dollar store ribbon? That's really, I love that. That's nice. Hi, Deb. Isn't that cool, Teresa? Okay. I love these. Look at the kitty napkin. I don't have any of these napkins so far. And I found my napkin journal, Colleen. I thought I'd lost my napkin journal. <laughs> I was kind of, I only had like 50 napkins glued in there. Oh, this is pretty. But I did find it and I had started a second one. So that was like a big sigh of relief. Oh, Ooh, that's pretty. Really? Oh, man, these are pretty. These are gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. Oh, with little birdies on them. Okay, so you need to get them to the to Kathy by September 18th. And you're made 12 tags. And it's black and white with a uh, and, and a pop of color. There's, that's the only specifics. You could do any style you want, any mediums you want. 12 different tags, 12 the same tags, whatever you like to do. Oh, I, I love that. That's one. And this is actually, I'm going to try and adjust my color. This is actually turquoise and not blue. Let me see if I can get the true color in here because it is a really pretty turquoise. Thank you, Helen. Did I see Helen? She put in there the oh, okay. details of the tag swap for us. Perfect. All right. Let me see. see what that changed. was something you could copy and paste, but she has in there and put that in the description box. Yeah, and if you send me your email, I will give you all the details with my address and everything. You can run that across your bottom of your screen. Oh, I could. Oh, here. Get fancy. Yeah. Thanks, Colleen. My goodness. <laughs> and you're the one who said you're still sleepy. There we go. When you uh, email Kathy, she'll, it have, uh, she'll send you her address. And, and there's her email. Okay. So I grab her email. And then uh, you email her and then she'll email you, uh, her address to you. I know I am too, but I don't have any of these. I know. Kathy has a, a nice collection too. Ooh, fun stuff. Oh, Paris. She is a whiz, camera. Okay. 
Thanks, Teresa. And I, I mean, I have enough people, you know, we'll just, we'll see what happens. If she changes her mind, that's fine. Pretty butterflies. You know what's really weird is now that everybody has a little red YouTube thing by their name on, did you see that on StreamYard? Yeah, I don't know. That changes off and on. And I don't know. not on YouTube, it's just StreamYard. Yeah, I've seen that before. That's it's weird. Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know what, I don't that, know what that is. Uh, little succulents. These are so pretty. We have a YouTube channel. Maybe that's what it means. Well, they would have to to be on here. Exactly. I mean, huh. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, here, this one's pretty. These are all beautiful. Um, uh, succulents, butterflies. Look at the poppies. Oh, look at the colors of the poppies. With the blue and the green and the yellow. Ooh, these will be fun. They're pretty. I've not seen poppies on napkins in that color. And no, they're pretty. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's cool tone. Look at all these. Oh, those uh -huh. are pretty. Oh, and there's a little tag. We will work on our napkin journals Friday. Oh, that sounds good. That'll be fun. Because I also I found all my calendars and I kind of incorporate those. Okay, so here's another one. Let's put these off to the side. So I want to keep these in their groups. Okay. Wow, oh, you have a good dollar on with Devin. I never see anything good at ours. Some dollar stores are better than others, and ours is never, I never see the stuff that Laura finds either in hers. I know. I got multiple ones, and I never see them in any of them. <laughs> so, I even have multiple chances, and it doesn't help. <laughs> I know. That's what I, I need to, I want to get out. I'm hoping to get out soon and get to, like, dollar stores, see if any of the resale shops are open. Okay, so... Ooh, this will go into my black and white. Oh, here's some oh, jelly. Irish alcohol ink and nickel paper. That is so cool. This could be framed. I think hate this one like hung on my wall. That's really pretty. Oh, look at these. These are awesome, Devin. Look I at like these. that one. It's very it's moody. I love it looks like these. Like the, it looks like this. The hay thing. Okay. I can't her name. <laughs> oh, bees. Oh, that's a good idea to stamp on that second napkin. <gasps> to throw them away. Did you stamp those in like a, a watercolor or all of this uh, pick color off the jelly plate, Devin, on those colored flowers? Devin is very talented. Oh, Helen's in the pan handle. Archival ink. They look nice. The colored ones? Or archival ink? Yeah. Huh. You probably use like a dauber to put it on the stamp pad. Yeah, this had to be on the stamp because I mean, I don't think the napkin would stand a chance to wet it. No. Oh. Cute. This will go up, Devin. You were thinking of my girl book. Perfect. Houses. I see Poscas on these. <gasps> fun, fun, fun. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking of all kinds of stuff to do with everything already. <laughs> oh, here, I want to save. Let me get this. I'll use this. Okay, so she used the archival inks on the stamp and then stamped it on the napkin then. All right, put this over here. Okay, so this one is full of yummy little bits. Cute little card. Yep. And then look at all the little things. 
Follow your heart and it will take you to incredible places. I hope you can find some Oh, thank you, Yolande. Yes, she is the other team. Uh, <laughs> Yolande is the other team. Yes, she is. Oh, look at all these. Tanya Carr lives, all Tanya Carr lives in Pepsi-Cola, and Tanya says she lives in, in Houston. Okay. Oh, Tanya's in Houston? Mm-hmm. Ah, I used to live outside Houston. They always get hit with hurricanes. Uh, they ever showed that on Dallas when that was on. <laughs> Aren't these great? How far away is Dallas from Houston? Oh my way. God, it's like 10 hours. Oh, that might make a difference. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Texas, I think it, it I takes think so. 13 hours to drive like across the whole state of Texas. It's so big. I how huge it is. I know. It's crazy. Okay, the dragonflies are from Alcohol Inc. on Yupo. I love these. Aren't they pretty? I know. So if everybody's, you know, you wonder what to do with the UPO papers, put them through your die cutter. These are awesome. Cute. Thank you so, so much, Devin. I to see your son and grandkids at the pack crafts. Have fun. Oh, God, Thank you for coming in and saying hi. Oh, um, Peggy, that'll be fun. How long, how long a drive is it for you? Yes, definitely pack crafts. Driving to Boston. Cool. Driving to Boston. I forget where Peggy is again. I should know. She sent me stuff. Oh, Devin, which CB wants to know which die is the dragonfly? Okay, eight hour drive. That's not too bad. Eight hours. You do it one one felt swoop or breaking it up. <gasps> You're close to the woodlands. I used to live in the woodlands, Tanya. I lived uh, four hours to get to Dallas from Houston. Oh, it's four hours to get to Dallas from Houston. Okay, um, Tanya, I used to live in the woodlands. But <laughs> she said she drives fast. <laughs> That makes a difference. <laughs> if you ask me how long it takes to drive to Chicago from here and somebody else, there's like a half hour, 45 minute, <laughs> maybe an hour difference. Me, Carl, like, <laughs> Stopping to pee only. <laughs> pee only. <laughs> Tanya said she's got a lead foot too. <laughs> Everybody's, but you know what? In Texas, the speed limit it used to be eighty. Now it's it's seventy five, I think. In some places, it's eighty. Holy moly! Yeah, yeah. Because I drove from Chicago when I I had been to Chicago before there, and that's where I lived all my life. And there, it's like fifty five. So going to Texas, I'm like, whoa, I can go 80 and not get a ticket. <laughs> How sweet is that? The fastest we have is 75, and you got to be way, 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 way down in Kentucky for that. Like, okay, it's 70. It used to be 80 some places. Oh, my gosh. It's all here. It's all stupid. 55. That's terrible. Oh, or maybe it was 70, and then I figured, okay, you can go 10 over so I can drive 80. <laughs> maybe that was – I thought it was 80, though, like out in the rural areas. It could be, like, yeah. that's the thing, and I think you have to go out for it to hit – I think we hit 65 or 70 when about an hour, uh, half an hour, an hour from here. Yeah. And then it gets faster as you get away from all the, you know. Then, of course, I guess it's like any other state. Then you get into a town, then it slows down. Yeah. And then all Just don't gets, speed in Ohio. Oh, they're the they're worst. They're bad. They're, they're freaking cops everywhere there. Mm. I am really careful when I go there. And you, they say 55. You may mean 55. Right. Not like you can't. You can't I can never go see my daughter and not 
have multiple cops on, on my side and the other side of the road. Yeah. Oh, I know. Because we're I hit, we hit the north side, and you uh, hit that on the other yeah. side. But they yeah yesterday was crazy. Is it semi? It was like facing the wrong way on the expressway, and oh my god, oh, it was a mess yesterday. It took me forever to get home. So I take back roads, and back roads were all filled up, and <laughs> terrible yesterday. We need more of those Ohio cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peggy says she has to drive through New York City to get to Boston. Oh, wow. That's See, I didn't find that. See, in there. Yeah, when I was out, I was out in New Jersey. I didn't actually go into the city, but I drove cl pretty close. And I liked it because I grew up, in, grew up in Chicago. So I'm used to the traffic and everything. But if you're not used to the traffic, it can be, uh, it can be a pain. <laughs> Carla's cruising speed is 84. <laughs> no, now it all comes out. And then Tanya said, "Is yes, I have a 10-mile range for my speeding, too. <laughs> exactly. You're safe if you keep 10. Don't go over 10 miles over. Oh, good Lord. 70 to 35, you would feel it. I mean, make you feel like you're crawling. Oh, my gosh. That's too much of a drop. I mean, when you're used to accelerated speed. And then, do you, if and use if you use Waze, I don't know if anybody use uses Waze for directions. Um, it's an interactive thing, so if people people let you know if there's cops ahead, and it's pretty accurate. I mean, I've never gotten a ticket. Knock on wood. <laughs> using Waze, they always tell you if there's cops ahead on the road. Yeah, Tom used to use that. Yeah, yeah. Boston traffic is bad. I've driven in Boston. I've driven in Boston and rush hour from the airport. That's <laughs> whatever the sign is you add 10 to it. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's <laughs> that sounds about right, Dar. <laughs> hey Janice. Uh, Tanya, Peggy hey, wishes she could ride with Tanya than her husband. <laughs> 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 yeah, Waze is a great app. Welcome back, Dorothy. Hi, Janice. Oh yeah, Boston. That that is bad. And I'm used to heavy traffic. That was that everything just seems so close there. Did you sign up for the swamp, Janice? Janice is she's Janice has signed up for the swap, Colleen. I've got her down. Okay. All right. She just said thanks for the information. I just want to double check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hey Janet. Janet Young. Hi, Janet. Worst place to drive is Colorado. They send you tickets to pay even if you've never been in the state. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so Eileen's getting tickets from states she's never been in. <laughs> they know she's a troublemaker. <laughs> She'll get one anyway. We'll just send her one. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you so much, Devin, for the happy mail. This is awesome. And this will get me motivated with my black and white book. I've got some. Now I know how I'm going to do my black, my blue and orange tag. I have one more quick thing to show you guys, and then I'll hand it over to Colleen. Um, I got, I was, Johnny had an auction. I got this old Heidi book, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I loved Heidi when I was a little girl. So I may, I don't know what I'll do with it. I may use the cover, but I, I'm adding it to my old book collection. She sent me. I bought one of the um, elephant napkins, which oh I love. God, I love that one. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? Oh. So that's going to go, gonna put go that in my yellow folder, I think. Mine's going to go in my blue, my blue jean blue journal, I think. Oh. I know. I know. So lots of motivation from the mail that I got. Then she had these cute little vintage uh, postcard bags. Where do I? Oh, here we go. 
And I have to say, Johnny's stuff, everything, she wraps everything, and she is fast. <laughs> Eileen, they knew you deserved the ticket. You would have sped if you were there. Exactly. Oh, she got leather saying you're going to sue her for not paying the ticket. She wasn't even there. Oh, my gosh. That's God. crazy. Okay, so here's the... Um, Here's some of the bags. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags. These are the vintage postage. And then we have the vintage girl bags. Yeah, check out Johnny's shop. She put some more stuff up yesterday. She had a, uh, she did a stream with a bunch of people on uh, showing what they had in their shops too. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check out her YouTube channel. These vintage girl bags are cute. Very nice. And then I got some napkins because I am a short supply of napkins. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually a little napkin package with some cards and stuff in it too. So we got these microfiche cards, which which will be fun. These might yeah, be too. These. These could be cool tags. Here's the napkins. I'll just flip through these really quick. This is why I bought the whole pack. I wanted that one. And then flowers. Those are pretty. See again, these are all different too. I didn't have any of these. These, I think, from were from Australia. I know oh, they were from right. Australia. So that's that pack. And then here's the other pack. Hi, Brooke. Hey, Brooke, how are you? CB, you got the Australian pack also? I know, these were nice, fun packs. Okay, here's the other one. With hey, wait, where Peggy's in Boston, she needs to look for different napkins. Yeah, you might find different napkins. If you went to the Dollar Tree or whatever, they might have different stuff. Okay, so here's more microfiche cards, which I will do something fun with. And then more. Here's the other napkin. Ooh, the pansies. That one's so pretty. Love the pansies. See, these are all pretty. I like that one, the turquoise and orange and greens. Yep, that'll go in the blue jean journal. See, I can picture different things that these will go with. I bean. like that. Maybe they have bean napkins in Boston. Oh, oh, what's the correlation between beans and Boston? Boston baked beans. Oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> that was <a> good idea. <laughs> Boston baked beans. Oh, good lord! I thought it was bean town. <laughs> oh, this was. I thought this was a pretty, um, a pretty peacock too. I'm not going to visit bean town. Flowers. They have great sea, great seafood in Boston. I thought this was really pretty too. Uh, oh, I didn't see the backside had the other print on it. I didn't yeah, I think there's the four different ones. I didn't think that one was uh, all the same. No, it's four different ones, Colleen. Look at it. Oh my gosh! I, Is that yeah, pretty? I yeah, I didn't open it. I didn't flip it over. And then I somebody this side, I didn't flip it. Oh my god! And then somebody said it's the Four Seasons. Oh, well, I feel stupid. Yeah, I only looked at this side. I didn't like open it. I assume they're all the same. Oh, look how easily that pulls off. Oh, I know. Nice. Ooh. These are nice. So that was fun. And I do have, I lied. I do have one more thing to show Ooh, this you. This would be good for Halloween. Yep. Kind of creepy. Okay, I do have one more thing to show you. I'm doing Tracy Winesaffle's uh, art challenge. It's, um, if you go to her Facebook page, she's doing an, a week art challenge where she challenges you to do 20 minutes of art every day. By the end of the week, you have a, you have a, um, 
you have a page done and she shows you her process and then on saturday you get an extra you get an extra pumpkin journal page but she shows you she's traditionally known for doing her flowers <laughs> uh let's see what am i gonna do <laughs> what i'm reading that I remember coming to thought like lumps and liquid. And she's like, <laughs> I don't like beans. Who said that? Ellen, and she's right. I don't like lumps. <laughs> she doesn't like lumps and liquid. Oh my god! <laughs> Which is most soups. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I'm doing Tracy Wine Zapples Art Challenge. It's a $10 course for the week. Yesterday we started with the first day of drawing and that's what I drew. By the end of the week I'll have, this will be all painted and colored and it'll, it's, it's <laughs> what size is it? This, I well, she had used five and a half by eight and a half for hers. So I found one that I had, but it's small. Five by five by five by five? That's no, five and a half by eight and a half. Eight and a half. That's a neat size, though. It is a neat size, but it's kind of little. I, like, overdrew everything because now I don't have a whole lot of room to do it. do it again in a bigger one. And have I'm going to. One in a small. And I'll probably do it. I'll probably do it a few times. I mean, this didn't take very much time, and I want it to, like, keep going. So I might do another one, like save this to work along with her and then do some others in here. Because if you saw her book, she has like a whole book full of flowers that are really cool. So, but I thought that was fun. So if you're into that, if you like flowers and watercolor and stuff like that, check oh, out yeah. Tracy. It's not for pad size, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so that was fun. So did you do yours, Colleen? I did not. I was watching a paper dyeing lady. Oh, uh, okay. I uh, hit, that's why I didn't watch paper dyeing lady. <laughs> that's why I was watching last night. But it was quick. I mean, it all, it was short. I mean, the first video, it was like 45 minutes because it was the first day. But once you got to the drawing part, it was quick. I mean, this went really fast. I was surprised how quick it goes. So. Okay. I looked at everybody else's on there. I was looking at what everybody did. Wasn't that fun? And so many. There were had to yeah. be like 50 different people posted yeah, on there. Right away they did. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, there was a lot. Yeah, in fact, at 11 o'clock today, her second one, the second day will be coming out. And I think she's adding doodling and color or something. We'll see. Do you add but to the one you already have or is there a different one? Pardon. Oh, no, you add to this one because she tells you like some people finished, but oh, she's like, okay. just stop, just do the basic part. And I think today, like she'll go in and like we'll do all in the flowers and in the background. Okay. And then the third day we'll add the color. I don't know. She explains it all. So who has no more projects? Brooke, you're all caught up on your projects. Oh, well, then you can do the tag swap. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like putting you on the spot. <laughs> now, if you want to do the tags, if anybody does want to do the tag swap, I'll take people till the end of the week. And then I'm shutting it down. But it's pretty full now. So if anybody's interested. Okay. Oh, I know where Providence College is. I've been to, I've, I saw Providence College. I was in it when I was in Rhode Island. New England is cool. Peggy went to college in Boston. I'm <laughs> not taking on any. Oh, I thought you were caught up. Oh, she's not taking on any more projects. Meaning she, uh, maybe she's talking about what you're doing. Okay, no more projects. Okay, and be a her son school. went to school in MIT and never left Boston. And Peggy said her son went to Providence College and he didn't come home either. And then she went to college in Boston as well. Loved it. See, when I was in Boston, when I was out there, I'm like, oh, I could, I could move here in a minute. I could, I could live in Boston. 
it's so it's really it's it's a big city but it's i it just i like it i just like the whole vibe and it's a cool place i think okay so colleen what have you been up to not as much as you you busy girl okay I did get, oh, Brooke, thank you for the napkins. I won on the napkins. I even, I cheated and then I didn't win and I won anyway. I thought that was funny. So she sent me napkins for just a giveaway, just to be nice. So I got these two days ago, I think. I like this one. I like that one a lot. I've seen one like that. Right? A good idea here. Makes me think of the lady who wrote all the Harry Potter books on napkins in, in the restaurant. Makes me think of that. Um, I like this one with the Asian lights. Keep calm with your flip-flops on. That's cute. And then I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to put this in my Halloween group. And I got some florals. Oh, magnolias. That's neat. And it's pretty green one. Look, Eileen, green. This one I like is in like this is also a nice neutral background. You could put a lot on top of this one. See, like this, if you cut out the magnolias here, they will look really nice on top of this napkin. So I like a nice neutral napkin too. You can pop the colorful ones on top of, and even like this green flower here will look good on it. And this is stripey. This is nice because it's got the, the little daisies and gray and white, which I love. And more man. And these are no, these are lilies. I love the gray and the white and the green. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? It looks like your tags. <clears throat> And this one's fun. This one, if I went, if you put some eyeballs on it, they'd be fish. <laughs> they would. That's I was like, when I saw this, I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. I could just put an eye right here and, and it becomes a fish. Uh, <laughs> that's, okay. so, that's how I think. That is funny. This is uh, uh, Pretty Roses. These would be fun. This is kind of probably similar to what you're going to be do or doing in the class with the flowers and then the little doodles coming off of it. Oh, yeah. That will be good inspiration. Yeah. So it would probably be similar to that. This one's more watercolor. Yep. See, it's made watercolor napkins. Can be several of these. This is, there's two of these. You just said, I have to send some of those, can't be. Oh my and god, correct, but the, missing fish. And some, oh, this would be good for New Year's Eve. Oh, cute. And then this one, which is really easy. This would be so easy to cut out the little daisies. Thank you so much. This is really nice. So she did a giveaway on her channel. And then I got all the same napkins as uh kathy as far as uh stuff from johnny except i missed out on the little bags i think that's uh, i missed out on the bags i did get I, me and peggy we got the pickle bags and then this pack had pickle bags straws they had a cute little popcorn bags peanut bags so it's kind of like look little hot dog bags me it reminded me and this was a, a part of it so i'm good on pickle bags now I bought the extra pack and what was in here. I can make a pickle bag mini album. I was going to say, what are you going to do with those pickle bags? I mean, it'd be cute. They'd be cute size to do a mini album with. My thought is these would be great circus pages. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, to do a circus page with those. Ooh, a circus journal. Yeah, that would be fun to do. I mean, you could fold these in half and... But this is close to an ATC size. I do a circus journal. I used to love going to the circus when I was a kid. Yeah, three by two and three quarters. It's almost the size of an ATC. Yeah. yeah this would be fun. 
could just do you could just use these and make a little mini circus bag one. I don't mm -hmm. want to do the straws. I have to come up with something ingenious for that. I don't know. They'll just look cute sitting in a cup on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. And Clowns, Gary. Yeah, I don't. I don't care for clowns either. But I like the uh, other aspects of a circus with the, with the. You know, I think it's. I mean, the whole idea is just kind of mean. But I just like elephants and stuff. And um, I got the flow book yesterday. I was hoping to find Daphne's diary, and I did not find it. But I did find a flow that the last one over at my two uh, Joanne's. Oh, that's the new one, Colleen. What's the date? What is? Does it say what number or day it is, or like August, September? August, September. Okay, for this one. And I was hoping that Daphne's diary. I saw I got email was out. It could be too soon. I haven't gotten here yet. Okay. You can buy it from them, but I it's just the shipping's too high to to buy from them. So I'll wait for it to hit the stores here. So we'll keep my eye out for that. And um, these, uh, it has a lot, it really is just more the images and the stories. It's not at the shiny um, papers that you get in like the Daphne Diaries, but um, it has a lot of women images in here, which would be great for the Girl Binder book. Actually, then, it usually has pretty good articles in there too. That's the one that I usually read. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Devin. Yeah, I don't like it. My mom painted me one, and I hated that thing. And I'm like, I don't want a clown. I hate clowns. So this one's pretty. I love this. It's just a combination of just fun watercolor doodles and then a poem over it. But, yeah, it has – this is a – that would be a good – Put in the girl journal. <laughs> oh, that is oh, that is cool. Yeah, there's lots of fun images in here. I like her. She looks like she is fun and she doesn't take no BS, you know? She I like her. Reminds me of Lena's aunt. Yeah, like she is like, you know, got it. She's confident. She's not taking any crap. Yep, don't take no crap. Does what she wants. Yeah, so it's it's a neat magazine. It's not for I like. Oh, look at that. That would be a fun stitch. Look at someone stitch uh, that. That's cool. You stitch the girl, and then and then look at the little braided hair. How would you do that? I could I could figure out the top, but that would be still difficult not to leave any gaps. But I don't know how they did the braid. Let's say braided it and cut a hole in the fabric and put it in from the back. That's neat. I like that. Chickens. I like this lady. Chickens. Chickens. Mushrooms. Oh, she's got chickens in her house. <laughs> Real She's chickens in her house. Cool. They have three free range. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. Chickens inside the house because HOA won't let you have them outside, but you can have them inside. There you go. Can you imagine picking up chicken poop off your floor instead of having a rabbit? I don't think I'm going to clean up after a chicken. If it's like any other bird, they poop a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'd want them inside my house. There's a lot of little coloring pages in here. Hey, Nana. This one's cute. Let's 
City. I'm just doing a quick flip. I haven't read it. I just bought it yesterday. But uh, Kathy finds a lot of neat images for uh, from Flow books and uh, Wellbeing books and for her girl binder. Yeah, I like going through. Um, I'll go through. I usually go th I, in the beginning now. I just go through and pull out all the images I like. <laughs> yep, house chickens. <laughs> yeah, I like the coloring. The coloring pages in there. They were cute. I don't only normally color. And I thought they were super cute. So the other one I got is this one. I can't remember if I had or not. Isn't that terrible? But they had, if I did, at least I have two. This one has a lot of good images. Uh, these are more of the shiny, slick pages. A little different, but this has a lot of um, cute things you could cut out and use in your journals. Oh, my God, Brooke. Kathy, what is a girl binder? Because it sounds so wrong. <laughs> you would go there, Brooke. I'll know. <laughs> I'll show you. When Colleen's done, I'll show you my girl binder. It's just like a girl power inspiration. Yeah, like this one would look really cute in there. Quotes, drawings, doodles. I thought it'd be something fun, like what for my granddaughter to look through as she gets older, like. Just inspiring stuff, positive. <laughs> and creepy baby doesn't sound wrong. Yeah, right, Devin? She's questioning my girl binder. When she <laughs> was the creepy baby journal. <laughs> you know that everyone was thinking it. I didn't even think of that, Brooke. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. My mind did not go in the gutter with that one. Not even once. No, now. and mine usually goes, tends to go that way. I didn't even think of that. This is pretty. That'd be cute. A girl binder. Mm -hmm. Or blue in my blue book. <laughs> it, it's that remind of a BDD. She's reading her books. <laughs> Oh, I know, Brooke. I know, Brooke. Stop it. It's funny. Because I, I never, God, I never even thought. There's it. some really cute images in here. Boy, how many times have we seen people do this? <laughs> hey, Teresa, thank you for getting a hold of Laura. So anyway, there's a lot. I like these kind of uh, for the images, like these kind of magazines. And the other thing that Kathy got as well. We were enabled by um, Cass to buy this book. Cool. Oh, bye, Teresa. You're welcome. Oh, wait a minute. You got that book? Yeah. Oh, I got the other book. Which one did you get? Now we got to do a book comparison. Oh, my God. It's upstairs. I got this one that she showed called Collecting Moments. It's a guide to retro journaling. Oh, that's what I have written down on my paper. No, I got the other one. I'll go get it while you're showing that. Okay, <laughs> now, okay, we each bought a different one. <laughs> yes, and it was fun because I took my old paper away, and there was something that said retro journaling that I had scribbled down, and I couldn't remember what it was. Okay, now I know. All right, I'll go up and get the um, I'll go get the book I bought. That's funny. That is funny. We each buy a different book. We make a complete cast together. <laughs> Maybe between the two of us. <laughs> so these are different ideas, journaling pages. And okay, um, be back. this is fun. Uh, different styles and things you could do. Like this one was is more like, you know, like a Midori, a Midori style. Thank you, Helen. Yeah, it has no flip through on the like on um, the Amazon. You just see the cover, and I hate when they don't show the inside. So I was glad that Cass was brave enough to buy it sight unseen and then showed it. And I love all these um, journaling ideas. And yeah, this is like using tapes. Oh, and, and Helen just posted the link. Thanks, Helen. Stamps. This is plants, large flowers, different 
errors, errors, plant patterns. There's some really neat ideas in here. You could use this in your daily journal, use this in a Midori journal, make it an art journal. This is talking about using retro stickers and numbers, newspapers, old books, printed text. Uh, see, this is talk about using it in a cinema, cinematic effect. I can't say it. Images of in cinematic, cinematic effect. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, it has, I love the size of the book. I love the look and feel, and I like that the background papers look like. A, oh, I can't. Let me get zoomed out a little bit more. The background papers is, looks like more of a grid. But the book is thick. This book nice. is super thick. Hey, and Colleen, Brooke wants to know how your creative daily journal is going. It's going good. I don't think I've changed my style so far, but um, but I, I'm all caught up except for yesterday. And I'm sticking to it, and I like it. And I almost filled up my binder. I actually bought more papers to um to start a new binder so i'm pretty happy with that because like i added um let's see i'm getting fancy so here i added brooks when brooks sent me happy meal i added her little her little um cup paper that was on the mailing envelope and added that on there when i got it um saturday and then i added the the journal page I did Saturday, I printed it out and put it on there. I like being able to, you know, something I add stickers and photos or, um, you know, like when Janet sent me happy mail, I put it, her envelope. That's one of my favorite birthday cards I got from Teresa. Oh, fun. I love that one. Hold on. Let me find it. It's got a monkey on it. There. Yeah, so on that day, I got happy mail from Devin and from uh, and from Janet. See, I put her pretty, paint, you know, her pretty envelope where she drew all the monkeys and leaves. And then I had a sock monkey do dad. And then I put the girl in here that's the queen for Janet. And then I put the card in here that uh, I got from Devin. And uh, see, so yeah, I like being able to add that kind of stuff too and then just you know i threw this in just because i like this show this is when we're working on um these on stream the canvas and we were playing with spraying the canvas and stamping and that was from Devin. yeah so i like adding um different doodads this one i did you know stamping you know photos this one i used a bunch of stickers and then this one, I put a picture of like my daughter. Oh, I'm way too zoomed in for my daughter and I here. She came over and we scrapbooked for two days. So let's take pictures of our messy room, you know. So some days I got, you know, more to put in here than other days. Um, the artwork I did, like this one, I added the, I added the blue metal uh, embossed that we were working on, added that on there. Kind of helps me into my August folder. Helps me remember kind of what I did. You know what I mean? So I'm, I was caught up to Sunday. And then I got to do Monday. But yeah, I actually went and bought more papers yesterday. Because I feel like, yeah, I, you know, it's getting kind of, it's getting fluffy. So another few weeks are probably be in another binder. So yeah, I'm really loving this. And then when I got to saw this, I got excited because um, this would be another way of daily journals or art journal. I could see me using these either way, but I love the designs on the pages. Yeah, I appreciate you getting me inspired to do that. That looks, you're doing great, Colleen, with that. Yeah, I like it. I like to put in these um all these things and help me remember some days are yeah like i said some days are more plain or every day right but some days are more special and it's nice to journal about all the days because every day is not you know every day is a gift so oh i love it see how it's all hand stitched the book is 
or it's all stitched too. It lays nice and flat. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love all these. This is a great book. Cass is the queen of finding good books. She's so good at it. I know. Interesting. Interesting. This Different. one. Yeah. This one. Uh, this one, yeah, there's some leaves and stuff they collected and they added in and they covered it with uh, platinum dried leaves and then added it to her book. Looks like she might have put, I'm trying to think of that, looks like tissue paper or vellum. Sealed them in there. I like that there it was, she implemented those. And uh, this is type, different types of printers you can get different effects on paper <gasps> Devin's webcam came she's gonna try to set it up today oh that's exciting hey Devin super easy because once you plug it in your computer just immediately like grabs it and then usually you can it, uh, it takes you to the website to download the stuff and it's pretty all built in yeah oh fun i'm happy for you figuring out how to mount it is the hardest part about getting a webcam is yeah because we're not if, if we if we were streaming straight on it wouldn't be so bad but because we're streaming down to our desk yeah that's, that's the, what makes it hard it is that's and everyone has a different setup and uses different things depending on what kind of desk you have and and what kind of space you have and um so it's, it's all different but you can see look how i mean i'm still going i mean this is this part's about white space this one is about adding secondary things like um this one is about look i like how she's using the tape it's like i like that actually i like that chapter this is embracing using tracing paper and uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. This is talks about color. That looks like so. What napkin we have? Yeah, this is a cool book. If you like bullet journaling, hey, Shane. Uh, art journaling, or daily journaling, I think this is this would be helpful to anyone really doing any types of art like that. Be wary using a traveler's notebook or something a little bigger i feel like or like the the beast that janet uses um you know like this one she says she has crazy inspired journals where she goes and does messy stuff cool now what's the name of that again colleen it's called collecting moments a guide to retro journaling okay By lynn lynn Thing. it's a beautiful cover it's like a it has a, a vinyl it's like a vinyl rough feel like if you had a leather cover it's done the cover is done beautifully and um so again she uses collage elements and tapes and then this is uh, this chapter goes into her messy journals that she has as well so that makes sense you get a messy journal and you're Neat. This one reminds me of the weekly journal, make it into a weekly by drawing all the lines and all that. There's lots of ideas in here, different sizes, different styles. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, this one's really neat too. And uh, she does experimenting, she says, in her journals. She has an ins messy in book, she has an inspirational book. Wow, she has like a, a, a one for every kind of mood she's in, basically. Gel pen, watercolor, crayon, da, 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 is her favorite. Like this, look at that. Look how pretty it looks. I know the pictures are really small for YouTube viewing. Like they're not, you know, taking up, you know, they're not huge, but I'll, uh, it shows it, but her, it just showing her journal style. But if you're into any sort of journaling, I think this is helpful. I wish I would have had this as a, I mean, if you're a beginner, I'd say awesome. And even not being a beginner, I still like all the ideas in here, the compositions. And I wouldn't do any of the wax seals. That's not my thing. How she stores stuff. Oh, how 
nice little stage. She goes into how she stores all her stuff in the back. That's nice. Hardly anyone does that. Talks about their storage. Oh, that's neat. Look how she takes a photo album. That's a good idea. And she and she stores her her die cuts and stickers in a photo album. Isn't that clever? Oh. Oh, that's a good idea. Hi, Laura. Here's a rest cog, how she uses that. Here's under her desk storage. I like that she shows her room. It has a, I didn't even get all the way back through here yesterday. It just came yesterday. So I love, I really love this book. I think she has, I really like that she's showing how she stores stuff. Cause I mean, that's a struggle for everybody. And I should just watch the video this morning on uh, how someone stores all their stuff. It's a similar cabinet to Anne's. And uh, with all the, and it opens up and closes and has the, the plastic containers. It was really, I, I like watching that. And then I picked up some fabric, a few things of fabric yesterday. Um, I have um, I have some already, but I can resist some of them. So I picked up some of these for doing the snip, the snippet exchange. Picked up some of those, and then I picked up the wood the wooden button. They look like well, they look. Oh, they're plastic, I'm sure. They, yeah, they look like wood, but they're like lights and darks and swirls. And so I picked these up to go with the, the Indian book. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but you can see the different styles. So I think that this will be cute to you. So when we do the Native American, so I'll probably end up gutting. I'll gut this book. Fill it with other pages. I want to use these buttons and look at the. And then I got this trim. Look at this cute trim I found. Oh, that is cute. <clears throat> oh, you'll do something fun with that. So my thought is, um, this was in the uh, Joanne's in the aisle where they have um, costume stuff. Like, um, I'm assuming if people were doing, um, what's, where would they do? Would they cosplay or, you know, had some extravagant stuff, but this was in that aisle. I liked it has the greens, a brown, the creams. It's just, to me, I thought this was going to look really pretty on this book. So my thought is that, that um, I, would I would attach it. I have enough yeah. to I have enough to attach it here. I want it to show. So maybe just attaching a little bit to the front and a little bit to the back like this. Here, so let's move your book up a little. Oh, that would help. So that would hang, like if I put it on the first page, it, I it, like that. it would dangle out like that. And then there's enough that I, there's, this is a half yard. I was nervous where this is going to be enough and it was to do and then again like i'm going to attach this to the to the back cover too whoops hitting my so that will be on the front and the back let's see if i can this is going to be backwards but you get the idea that's what i'm thinking i'm going to do i i just want to i want all the little dangles to hang oh, that's, <laughs> that's, cute. I love that. that's my first thought now it could be hard to sort a book if i do that right because you're going to sit your book upright. So, and I thought about that as well. That could be kind of silly. Or I attach it down right, the side. Down the side. And it doesn't, of course, interfere with how you sit the book, you know, and that would just be down the side like that, which I think looks cool too. Well, not well, saying. Either way, it looks cool. So, I just thought this was cute and it's simple. Um, it matches the cover. I was looking for stuff that would match the color, but not be too crazy. Like, 
keeping it simple. At least at this point, I try to keep it simple. <laughs> we'll see if I manage to follow through and keep it simple. Simple is not my middle name, but that's my goal. So, I mean, that would look kind of cute. So I really but the, like that. But the wooden buttons, they're faux wooden buttons, but I think... I think that they'll look really neat on the, on the edges of the paper. Also, you know what you could do with those buttons? What about if you'd put them around that circle with the Indian? Oh, that's true. That's a good idea. So you could focus in on the Indian. I mean, they're just, they're just cute. They're, they're all cute. different shapes, all different all different styles but you know to and then some of them have like pretty well that's nice pretty pattern like, like you could use the solid side or you can use you know the pattern side and so i like that they were you know different on each side depending on you know both like each side's different even the little ones so that's what I got so far. But so I picked these up yesterday. I spent a lot of time looking around and uh, came home with this and this for the Indian book. This we're gathering, gathering goodies. Fun. So, very fun. Um, did I miss anybody? Oh, hi, Joan. Let's see if I miss anyone. Did we miss anyone coming in? Oh, hi, Pink. Oh, hi. Joan's here. Lori, Lori's back to work. Yeah, the green working. is, this one's pretty. It's like a very, um, I like it because it's all looks like distressed, like barnwood. But in a green tone, that's what I liked. It reminded me of barnwood. That's cool. Let's see. Is anyone else? Okay. Sorry if we missed you guys. Yeah, and this braid beautiful. It's like I don't know who comes up with these things, but I mean it's really pretty. Uh, and I was just like, oh, it's perfect for the book. So there, that's what I got. I found yesterday for the book, and I bought some fabrics and some mag in a magazine, and uh, there's that. And then um, also I did. Try one more metal embossing thing after the stream. This was like a, I think broken glass one by Tim Holtz, and so I did emboss something else and just inked it up. I thought that I just wanted to see. I just I had to do it again because I really liked how it looked. Uh, I can't hardly there. Oh, that's really cool. I really do like the embossing texture plates with the metal and adding the ink and stuff on it. I mean, the other we added the alcohol ink on it, which made it look cool too. But that I had to try that again, so for sure. And I think that's it on my tour. <laughs> okay, let me. Sh I'll show you the book that I got. <laughs> okay. I think that's funny. We got two different books. It is funny. I got this one. <sighs> It's the Cozy Days, The Art of Iraville. And it was. Oh, I missed that one. This one. Oh, no, I remember seeing this. Never mind. Yeah. I just didn't buy it. And it has, it does some step by steps. It talks about the artist. I just, I like the trees, the houses. Are you going to cut it up? Or are you going to use it for examples? I'm going to, no, I'm I, not going to cut it up. Eye candy. Eye candy. Eye candy. And it does have, mostly for inspiration. Not the things <laughs> it was. I have a hard time not, not, not wanting to cut them out. <laughs> really I know. Cute ones in there. Yeah, but see, more like the fr I like the flowers and the landscapes and stuff like that. Because it kind of reminded me of the one artist we did the painting with Kathy at her on her stream that one day and all the blues. So I just... All of the houses and the trees. That's cute. I know. Even like the little the snow scenes and stuff like that. It just, I like the style. 
a lot of inspiration there. Yeah, it'd be something I'd use for inspiration. And then it does the step-by-step -step step outs on things. I like the city one. It does um, <clears throat> how to mix your own paint. It's got animals. Here's the bird that cast in. Okay. Oh, look at them. Those little turtles. Cute. I know. So the cats. So just like lots of fun, like drawing and inspiration and painting and stuff. There are. Those would be fun to try to paint. I like the, I like the whale. Uh huh. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, find your own watercolor sketch. It is beautiful art. Yeah, so it shows how to make a watercolor sketchbook. So it has a little bit of everything. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, so I made. So there's some stuff in here that definitely that's I think neat. I'm gonna try. Like you make a watercolor journal. That's neat. I know. I know. So that's yeah. really neat. There's you just need some you need to teach us that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like the like the skewer, like the piano hinge journal. Yeah. I like the how we the... added an hour and a half on New Year's Day. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> that one is I might have to put that in my cart. That one's really nice. See, look at all the houses and stuff. I know. I love the house. That's what that's what gets me right there. I know. Is the house the house though and oh, then, it's, nice. then she has inside her sketchbooks which i think that's interesting just seeing these are her sketchbooks which how she swatches stuff i mean i just i just think this is really interesting thank you helen i'm gonna add that to my cart okay she makes her color swatches as a memory aid Let's see, she puts them right on her page so she remembers what colors she uses. So just fun, fun inspiration. I think that's funny though. We got two different books and I already put the, the one you got in my, in my cart. So here, and then there's a bunch of different plants, her plant gallery. See, and I'll use this for like doodling with my that Tracy class, like use this for inspiration. Oh, yeah, that does it. That does it. It's really, oh, look at that. See, and I, I love this. I love doing ferns and stuff like that. Oh, that's so pretty. Hi, Malia. Homemade paper stretcher. And. Jersey says she wants to cut it up. I know I could see parts of it wanting to cut up, and then parts of it it'd be fun to try to draw or paint. Yeah, I'm kind of like that. Might be one where you might want to. <laughs> right. I know it could go either way. You could cut it up, get a used one if you're gonna cut it up. That's what I was thinking. They're like twenty three dollars, so I would get a used one. Yeah, but this is so. Yeah, this is the one I got, and then I you know, and that's so that's funny. You had the other one. <laughs> so we got both the Kansas books from two different states, but they're there. Okay. So now, are, do you want to talk about the snippet thing today, Colleen? Or okay. are you still working can, on the I don't know how to, how to organize it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, uh, I'll let you do it. <laughs> she gets no, thank you. Um, I, would, I mean, I can help you with it, but I wouldn't want to do it till after the tags. So we can work it. on doing that after. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, we okay. can think about it. First of all, who would be interested in doing a snippet swap? Where you just Laura was there at uh, Janet's Nash's stream. She saw it. Yeah. So that's a one place to start. And you'd, you'd be sharing just little, how big would the snippets be? The snippets would be one inch by six. So really small snippets. And she, Janet Nash, showed that her niece made these cute snippets. And and then she attached them, like you can attach them to the top, which I like the idea of attaching them to the top of a journaling page. So you cut one by six inches and we would 
do an exchange with maybe 10 of these, these would fit like in a, a bit, you know, just flat, not just flat one by six, uh, like 10 different pieces of fabric or something and, and put it in a business envelope, pick one stamp to mail it. Does it involve sewing? Yes. But not till after you get the sewing. After you get it. Okay, so you wouldn't be making whoever gets it has to sew it later. Yeah, you have to when you're gonna have to sew it yourself, but you're just gonna be exchanging the material. Yeah. I mean, because you can see and you oh. can hand stitch these too. Yeah, she hand stitched her. So if you imagine I'll show you a little bit. And then she's so cute little. I'm going to do an inaccurate one by six. Because I would normally, I would use, I probably would use a little roller cutter thing. It's six inches. It'd be about right here. Okay, so, I mean, you're talking like everybody has, everyone has scraps, right? So, I mean, it's, it's literally just be cutting off little snips of your of fabric and what she did is she left a little bit at the top and then basically scrunched it up and like this hey laura then, have you made these before okay so then you either can can stitch this by hand like so it was scrunched uh, there my camera so it's scrunched like this, all scrunched up, and you just pleat it and leave a little bit of top, and then like this, it's all scrunched up. So you do a little hand stitch or sewing machine stitch, whatever she, whatever you want, and then she added just added at the top a little couple buttons or something, you know. And you don't even have to send buttons. That would be adding bulk to your envelope but then she just added a couple buttons on the top and then when this is sewn together okay if you can imagine you take you take this and you're attaching it attaching it if this was their journal okay brooke it. said they're fun to make in the car on long trips okay so you can hand stitch it yeah you can hand stitch it you don't have to have a sewing machine and then so it would be like this and you would have it glued on your page and have yeah, you could put sequins or buttons or whatever on top, and it it just be cute little cloth tidbits sticking out of your book. That's how I would use them. You don't have okay, to. Okay, Lori said it. She's done something similar with paper. So basically, it would be you're not. We're not exchanging the snippets. We're exchanging the material to make different snippets. Yes, just the material. You have to make. You have to sew it yourself. So that one has to sew it ahead of time, unless they just want to. No, but like, yeah, we would, yeah, and then we would after we did the swap, then we'd come on and work on it online. Yeah. So we could exactly. all do it could be cute. So if you imagine you're you're in a fabric, it's just basically a fabric exchange, exactly. And you're talking like a one by six inch piece. So this, for instance, is one little square thing you buy at the store. This is two dollars, and then that's how much I cut off of it. I mean, look how much I've left over. So I mean, you're just sharing, so everyone could get a fun variety of fabrics. Hey, Brooke. After um, I don't know if you can be in the swap if you want to be in the swap, but after we um, collect every, every we send everything out in the swap, would you want to come on and do the demo for us on a Tuesday morning or on Colleen's to show everybody how to do the how to do them if you go janet nash she that's and that's on youtube and you go to her her youtube channel from yesterday or um yeah monday and she she hand stitched this now she made hers wider and and bigger her her niece made hers like smaller ones like this and i and i actually so i actually like the smaller ones better but like she made bigger ones and her daughter made smaller ones, but this would be really fun to exchange. Just, I mean, yes, Jersey, link, uh, link Janet's video. That would be great. So, if so, you can make short ones or you can make long ones that are like ribbon. That would be 
if she, that would be great if you could do that. So if you can imagine like 10 of these would fit in your business yes, envelope. I like, I like the longer ones. Colleen likes the shorter ones. I like the longer ones. Okay. So, okay. Well, we can all, we can kind of decide on the size too. Would, would you like a more like one by 12 more like Brooke? Well, give me an example. Or it could be like just a, a, we could do a piece of fabric that's like four by 12. And then you can get more than one from each that's, person. You know what I'm saying? That's a possibility. Yeah. See, this is why it's good to talk about it now and then figure out the details. Yeah, because I was thinking it'd just be basically a fabric exchange. And I think that would be fun to get a variety of fabrics from people, you know, because every no you're not gonna get dupes. No one's gonna have the same stuff. Oh my god, Eileen's gonna use hers to make a thong. <laughs> the pool boy will have a different thong for every day. <laughs> so yeah, you can just use what you don't have to go out and buy fabrics. I just I just went out and bought a few. They had these 40% off, but but you can use, I got stuff in my stash too, use what's in your stash, but that'd be fun. If you're sending little flat things a fabric like this, this would be really cheap to, to ship. Like you could literally do it in an envelope, mail it, it'd be fun. Right, exactly, Jersey. It's a great way to share small pieces that's not a lot of postage. It's a great way to collect a bunch of different fabric without having to buy big pieces. Yeah, and then what she, Dana did is she took um, all the little snippets that uh, her grand, uh, her niece made and she made, and she, she put them in a, I think she said she would be in a swap too. And then she put them all in a, in a jar after they're all sewed and some little buttons. And she had a whole little jar, a uh, little container of these. So she can just pull them out and put them on a journal page when she wants to use them. Hey, Patty. Okay, so Patty asks, how many pieces, how many fabric squares would I need to buy? I have zero. Okay, I don't sew, Patty, so I did, never had a whole lot of fabric. You can go to Tuesday morning and they sell little packets of like 10 squares of fabric. Yeah, and they have those at Joann's too, and, but they're cheap. I think they're a little cheaper at, uh, at uh, Tuesday mornings. So depending on how many people are in the swap, I mean, this is one where you could have a lot of people and really collect a lot of different fabrics. So it yeah. probably depend on how many people were in the swap. So I just, I'd say a couple squares of fabric, two or no more than three probably, because you'd be cutting it smaller. See, that's why we'll work out the size. That's a good idea. If you don't have fabric, you could use uh, old tea towels. If you have any oh, yeah. Towels, dish cloth, any like a- uh, Old clothes? Pillowcase, yeah, cut up a pair of jeans, add some denim if you have- Hel Okay, yeah. Helen has a great one, lace. <laughs> Yeah, so lace yes. would work. You could do lace. Yeah. That's perfect. You should write, I'm going to write some of this stuff down. Yeah. I'm sorry, I need notes. Yeah, because if there's a bunch of people in it, if some people do this would, lace, be fun. this would be a fun, um, this would just be cheap and fun. Yeah, use yeah. what's in your stash. You don't have to buy anything. Oh, that's nice, Lori. Patty, contact Lori. She'll send you a bag of scraps. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna look at my email. Lori just sent me a picture. I wanna see what she oh, said. Hello, Patty, contact her, she'll send you some scraps. Um, Anne said she found a bag of, of fabric scraps on eBay. Um, yeah, if you have any pillowcases, it might be, you know, stitched or whatever, you can get some of those or stitched. Oh, if you've ordered some from uh, Safia. And yeah, old, yeah, old, yeah, old shirts, um, old jeans. Yeah, I like that you can add these to a paper journal page. So, because I'm not going to, like, don't do entire fabric. I mean, I have, like, a, a one little fabric book I started, but... For me, I love the idea of adding, incorporating fabric onto my paper journal. This would be a fun way to do it. And I, I really loved it. And Janet shared that yesterday. I got all excited. 
Oh, wait a minute. There's not a list yet. I'm, I'm doing it, Jean, and I'm, we, we're throwing out the idea of, of how many people. Okay, we write down names of who would be interested. And this is not a commitment. This is just to get an idea. Yeah, who's interested? It'll be uh, mid-September. It'll be after uh, after the tag swaps finish. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it after the tag swap. So, like anyone, so you got plenty of time. Hi, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Or you could do that too. I mean, depending on your journal, you could sew these into your journal. They'll have to be glue, Wiley. Hand sew it, machine stitch it. All right, here is, I don't think I can get it much bigger. That is Lori's finished snippet. So you can go as fancy or plain as you want. All right, let's side, see. Then we, because we'll need to decide on the size. That would be the other thing. And, um, and how many? Okay, size of material. So it's gonna be a, mater a material swap to make snippets. Yeah. And nothing like 3D, like buttons or any of that, just fabric. Just the fabric. So we can get a collection of completely different, you know, all kinds of unique fabrics we wouldn't buy ourselves. I mean, because a lot of people have a, a, a lot of little scraps and mm -hmm. extras. And if you don't, there is a lot of other improvising, like um, like the tea towels and stuff, too. I know cute tea towels. Or, that's a good idea. Um, okay, so Tanya said she would be interested. I'm just writing down names. It's not a commitment yet. I just want to see how many is interested. We'll keep a running list and then we'll come up with the details um, closer to it. And then it, like that gives everybody a month to to look for fabric and think about it. Yeah, think about it, watch videos with snippets, and okay. there's all different things you could do with it. Lori Painty Girl will do it. Okay, Nana. Hi, Nana. She said she'll do it. Yeah, I mean, there's. I think it'd be fun to get different, to get just a big, and then have a whole little box of these little easily stitched snippets and have them in a bowl or jar and they'll be pretty to look at even before you put them down in your book and yeah watch some videos on how to do these but janet did stitch one on online for the other day yeah and i think jersey put that up so okay. perfect okay and so maybe brooke would come on and show how to make some and what size she likes yeah, that's a good idea. We could have different ones. Oh, Nana's going to be the snippet queen. Oh, oh. maybe her, memory, her camera set up. She could come on too. Oh, and there's that was Janet wonderful. Nash. Just Thank you for getting that, Laura. Okay, so so far, Tanya and Lori and Nana, of course, myself and Kathy. Oh, Al makes some. Never hope, help, never hopeless. Elizabeth makes some also and stores them in an old laundry detergent bucket so they smell delicious. Ooh, oh, that's that clever. And then when you send them out, if you send them out, then it mm -hmm. smells nice. It smells good. <laughs> that's a good idea. Let me see if I can find her. So you'll be able to touch it and smell it. <laughs> Okay, Devin would be interested. Okay, with us that makes six. Yeah, and so we'll we'll um, Jean, if you're interested, we'll uh, we'll start it um, mid sep. We'll we'll get it going mid September, and everyone can watch some videos, gather stuff, and then we'll Brooke come on. 
if you watch Jana do it, you see all the really cute ones that her niece made, you'll get all excited. It's so, it would, they were so cute. I just couldn't resist. I was like, oh man, it'd be so fun to do a swap. And we have all these different materials from each other and have a little jar, have a little jar bowl of these to look at too when you're not using them. Okay, there's Elle's uh, channel too. She makes some. Yes, thank you, Jersey. She's on at 9 a.m. on Mondays. 9 a.m. Eastern on Mondays. Oh, this will be fun. I think it'll be fun. I don't think anyone's ever done a fabric swap before that I know of. So no, not in the, I'm sure that, not in mixed media or not art journaling. Yeah, that's true. Maybe in amongst just the quilters or sewers, but right. you know. I mean, I just like the idea of having these to add to your pages. I mean, it's how cute that looks with doing this Tim Holtz spray. Just like, oh, you can't see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, off camera all damn day. Yeah, but you can see, like, how cute that looks with the Tim Holtz new spray and then the little turquoise hearts in the black. How cute that looks. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. That's okay if you missed that because I have. Um, I have to all the time correct myself if I say Eastern because I forget that there are other people that <laughs> in Eastern. Who, who knows? That's the afternoon for Janet. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anyone. So let us know. You can let me know if you see me in chat or I'll be on Friday. And said she's interested in Miss Dan. Okay, and, good. Anne's interested. In Jersey, Laura. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoy it. This I, this is what we're here for, just to do some fun, different, fun, different stuff. Okay, and Jean. Bye, Brooke. Thanks for hanging out. And Jean would be interested. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That's, Brooke said one of her favorite fabrics is from an old shirt. Now I'm curious, too, if it's pattern or plain or cotton. Yeah, I have those vintage sheets uh, that I have that I got from. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't know. Oh, uh, with the vintage stuff I got, and I made the denim journal, and uh, oh my gosh, my mind. Oh, and, from um, Johnny, uh, the other Johnny. It's not Johnny. This starts it. Oh my God, how am I forgetting her name? Jana. 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 I have a couple like she sent me stuff in vintage sheets, and I have those too. Yeah, yeah. And I, I didn't think about that until she said. So we have Tanya, Lori. Nana, Devin, Laura, Ann, and Jean, and then us so far. Cool. Oh. Okay, your, your coupon code from Johnny's Live is active. So if you want to buy from Brooke's shop. All right, bye, uh, Brooke. Brooke. Yeah, some, let's, uh, let me get Brooke's. Yeah, I did. Thank you for saying that, Laura, because I did miss her. Okay, so Eileen put a picture of her fabric on Instagram. She has five large drawers of it. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Let's go look at that. So, Eileen, you better be in this swap then. If you're showing off all your fabric, you better be in this. Okay, this is the type of fabric. I have five large drawers. Oh, look at that. Ooh, oh, you've got the indigo, Eileen. Oh, look at her fabric, girls. Look at this swirly, like mixed media fabric. It's painting. 
Is that on IG? Yeah, Squirrely. Yeah, Ooh, okay, I'm writing Eileen on the list. Yeah, whether she wants to or she, not. She's sending me some snippets of that. Look how gorgeous this is. Okay, hold on. Let me get Brooke, and then I'll put, uh, I'll go to IG and put up Eileen's. Oh, look at her fabric journal she did. I missed that. All righty. Oh, wow. Are these, what is that? Did you, what you sew on there? What is this squirrely doodads, Eileen? What is that? What's the swirly doodad you stitched? Yes, right? Your name was Eileen, right? And she has some beautiful fabrics. Like, what is this swirly thing? Hi, Linda. The heck is that? It's so pretty. I don't, I don't know what they are. Okay. So there's some of Eileen's fabric. How many pictures? Ooh, pictures? Cool. She's posted all kinds of stuff I've missed out on. Got her her Stamperia fabric. Thank you for putting that. Look at her beautiful fabric, girls. Hold on, let me find. Oh, Ancestor covers pretty. Oh, yeah, don't forget she has all those uh, colored bias tapes. That could be a good snippet. I didn't think about till now seeing her her pile of be like a wider bias tape that you were like uh, colored. Oh wow! Look at all these. Eileen's been busy. Oh, and that's oh yay! Janet's here. Woohoo, we put up your video so for inspired for inspiration. That's really pretty. Fabric journal cover, I like that. Look at those yummy fabrics. Riri says that she has laces and such. Would you want to go on the on the list? Or See, that would be fun if people don't have fabric but they have lace. The yeah. lace would be awesome to add in with the fabric. Yeah, you could do lace because you could definitely, if you have lace that's you know a little, you know, like it's a little wide, like this, it's at least an inch wide. That would be perfect. Or wider, even. I they mean, are wider, just not like super skinny, because right, you know. But like at least an inch wide. If you have lace, you could totally participate and do and and as long as you don't care about getting other stuff back, that may not be lace. Oh, Johnny wants to be on the list. We'll remind you. It's going to be uh, mid okay. September probably after right. the tag swap. All right, Johnny. And I can keep adding to the list and get an idea how many you want to do it. So this will be fun. It's it's the more material. Lace our fabric. Oh, she's like, what are we doing? Oh, so I'm thinking um, after the tag swap, we're going to do a, a fabric and uh, swap to make the bits. Yes, yeah, so bits. just bits of fabric. The bits of fabric. This is one by six. This would probably be the smallest you'd want to do. And we're going to do a snippet exchange. If you don't have fabrics, you can do laces. Or, you know, you could do other materials you have. Yeah, clothes, tablecloths. Tablecloths, yeah. Just, and it'd be fun. And then you'll, but when you send them, you'll send them flat. And they have to sew it themselves. That way it's easier for shipping. 
and then they can add the little buttons or whatever to the top themselves. All right, buttons, sequins, yeah, we'll, we'll anything. Do, yeah, we'll do this after after the taste swap. So everybody's a month to look for stuff. <laughs> See, me says I have enough fabric here to, to give everyone. <laughs> Does that mean you're in for, for a snippet exchange? Yeah, and, and if you have lots of scraps too, that's I'll show you a way to use them up. All right, so Riri's, if she's got lots of scraps, she would be interested. <laughs> Janet, no one will notice a little snippet from the tablecloth. <laughs> when you go out to the restaurant and you can be like, clip, skip, clip. Take your scissors. Take the cloth napkin, snip, snip, snip. <laughs> can you imagine doing that? <laughs> oh, that's yeah, fun. Yeah, somewhere for Thanksgiving. Snip, snip, snip. <laughs> you could have your own little book of snippets from places you've eaten. <laughs> <laughs> snippets from places you've eaten. Oh, oh my is my house. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna put down CB as a possibility because she said she's got tons. So I'm gonna put CB down as a, as a possibility in it for the snippet exchange too. Just cut out under the centerpiece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right over it. <laughs> Oh, you I, okay, Devin? If you thread yours, I'll thread. I'll try to thread mine. This would be fun. So yeah, I have I have Tanya, Lori, Nana, Devin, Laura, Eileen, Johnny, Anne, Jean, Riri, and CB. Well, and Brooke will come on and show us how she makes hers. I don't know if she wants to be in the exchange. I think she does. Put her down. For, I think she does want to be in the exchange. We can always okay. take her up. All right. We'll put Brooke on here. She left, so we're going to sign her up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary Beth. Oh, and Nana, of course, who started it. Nana, she probably and, wanted to, you have Nana. Nana. Do you have Mary Beth? Nana Nash, she started it. She'll probably want to be in on the snippet exchange. Do you have Mary Beth, Colleen? Nana Mary Beth. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to put, I'll put MB. Let's see. Genus oh. MB. Okay, Linda too. Cool. Linda Morrell. Oh, and Jean, she's in, she's in a meeting, but she's texting about this. <laughs> okay, CB, thanks for coming. What's Jean's last name? I guess we only got one gene right now. I always think of our, I always think of our yeah. other gene. Okay. All right. So I have Gene down and Johnny, Penny Lee, Lori, Eileen, Tanya, MB, Devin, Laura. Judy333. Okay. Judy333. Oh, man. We're going to have some fun with this. Look at all these different ones we'll get. Janet, Brooke, Riri, CB. Okay, Jean Moran. Moran is M. Thank you. Yeah, we. Yeah, this would be fun to do snippet exchange. So just start gathering all your little, and then uh, we just got to decide on a how many and a size. If if you guys think this is too small, we can do bigger. I just want to keep it. I was just want to make sure that I keep kept it simple. But we can do bigger too. Yes, we'll give the measurements. We'll give the measurements. The due so date. Like this one is one by six. So this would be the minimum. But everyone thinks that uh, Brooke said she likes bigger ones. So maybe it could be two by two by twelve. Maybe two by twelve, and then you could have a couple. Is two by twelve sound too big? Does that sound okay? everybody if we did like two by twelve that would be 
Oh, add Kimberly. Kimberly. Yay, Kimberly. Kimberly has a denim, a denim um, pants pocket flag on her flagpole that she sewed. The oh, cutest God. thing ever. The cutest thing ever. Yeah, so maybe we could do two by 12. Would that be okay with most people? If not, you could do smaller. We could say two by 12 and then you could go smaller if you wanted to. That you know way what we could do, Colleen? Yeah. We could say anywhere between one by six to two by 12 and or then we would get all 12. different sizes. That's true, or one by 12. Yeah, so anywhere between one by six to two by 12 and anything in between. Yeah, so one by six, one by 12, two by 12. Right, that might, way we'll get a variety. Might be too wide, you think? Okay. Does anyone else think two inches would be too wide? Let's see, two inches wide would be. Yeah, that might be too fat. At least for me, it might be too fat to put on top of page. Well, see, that's something we can work out between now and the middle of September. Because I was thinking, too, you can always cut them down. You know, if you get one. That's oh, well, then you would get two snip bits. If you did two by 12, you could cut it down the middle and have two one by sixes. Right, right. You know, I did division. Aren't you all impressed? <laughs> it was simple division. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two inches. Okay, so two inches would make a good flip up. I think the variety of sizes is nice. I think so as well. So I think the variety of sizes would be nice. Just like with the tags, you know, like we're doing a max of a size eight tag, but you know, maybe you want to make a wider, shorter tag or whatever. Maybe you want a piece of fabric that's, you know, two by five or two by seven like i think it would you know it would be okay i don't think anyone would protest the okay so we we will uh colleen will email that information out but it won't be until september it won't be till for a couple weeks that yeah does that sound good in september guys you want to do it sooner does that sound good for september let's do September. let's if you that want way you don't, that way you know people don't feel overwhelmed with the tags and the snippets if you want my help, Colleen, you have to wait till mid-September. <laughs> uh oh, damn it. All I'll right, well, I guess we're doing mid-September because I will need her help unless Tom can help me. And I don't know if you want to. No, I can help you before then. We can have it all ready to go. Well, we can make all the decisions and start it mid-September. Yeah, yeah. We'll make it, all the decisions before we start it. And then just September. <laughs> you know don't mail anything until after september 18th yeah and we've already got our and i'll write a neater list we already got our list going too and we'll have people can can uh add to the list Who oh that's knows? a good idea we can get it set up colleen One, send two, out the information and yeah. just say don't mail until after september mail between september 18th and whatever the deadline yeah because we got 19 so far that would be 19 different pieces of fabric you know I know it's fun. Little daddy, and then anyone else who wants to sign on is more to marry her, and that's fun. Okay, Kimberly said she was driving and had to pull over so she could text. <laughs> oh, Kimberly, thank you for doing that. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be exciting. Oh, glad. Is it exciting? Great fun. September is fine. Okay. We'll have all the decisions made in September. And then you can start like ma mailing them uh, mid September. We'll, all the, we'll have the list and everything ready to go. And then we can add snippets to our Kathy Arbor folders. Oh, yeah. And we can add snippets to everything. I, I could put it in my daily journal. I could put it in my little. Um, like, uh, I could see me adding them to like these type of journals, you know what I mean? You could add it to your, these type of journals. Like I could think of so many fun possibilities of the snippets. 
If anyone sent you black and white ones, you could have put it in your black and white journal. Hey, Rosemary. Welcome. And Rosemary has lots of fabric. She might be interested. Have, um, if, you have, if you have a bunch of tags, uh, you could do take your little tags and, and you could add snippets. Add snippets for tags, too, when you get them. Oh, yeah, you don't need Facebook to do swaps. Heck no. No, That'd we've got to never use Facebook for swaps. The big tags, that would be fun, too. I like it. You can add them to anything. Or you can put them in a bowl, and if you sew them, just look at them. <laughs> oh, yeah, just put them in a bowl. Put them in a bowl and use it for decoration. Maybe well, I can so fix far them. we have 19 people listed, so you would have 19 snippets. Right, 19 different pieces, little pieces of fabric to work with. Well, that will be fun. With all this stuff, so this would be, it will be fun. Hi, Rosemary. Yeah, I guess you could do that to make it easier for cutting is have a quilter's ruler and you know, to cut into strips, it'd be easier. It's not mandatory, it'd be easier. For sure, you could cut them quicker. Yeah, um, just a sharp pair of scissors. September will be here in a hot minute, right? It's August 25th already. So that's really only, you know, a little over two weeks from now. We'll do that. Well, I think this was fun today. We didn't do a whole lot of art, but we did go through a lot of stuff. We got some good ideas. Yeah. We've got another swap going, which is fun. So, yeah, sometimes it's just fun to chit-chat with uh, the audience, get ideas. You never know what we'll come up with. Yeah, this would be fun. I like that. I was all excited. I was like, I woke up and I'm half asleep and... I was watching it, and I was like, oh, those are so cute. I was like, this would be so fun. Okay, okay. Helen said add her to the swip snippet swap. Say that ten times fast. All right, Helen. Add me to the list of snippers in the snippet swap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, that's funny. Okay, MB Nana. Right, Laura. Part of our art is just sharing. This is all part of it. You know, it, you don't always have to do stuff every time. Just sharing ideas is a huge part of it. And it's, it makes us uh it makes us part of a community too. When you you know, when you get in the swaps, like you'll get a tag or you'll get the um, or you get the you'll get the fabric pieces in the mail, and then you can work on your snippets and add little buttons or whatever. And we can um, like maybe we can do a hashtag or something where we can post them, and everyone can see each other's snippets and yeah, hashtag different. snippet swap. Love it. There we go. Okay, look at this. Look at me and going into a second row. It's not without us on it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, fun. Oh, good. Look how many we have already. This is great. Yeah, and the more we get, the more different fabrics we get. So, yeah, we'll get it. We can get everything together, um, get the information out. Just hold off mailing stuff till September 18th. Yeah, the tag swap's still open. You want to join? You want to join it? Josie wants to join. Oh, good. I'll put Josie down. Hey, Josie, send me an email. So I have your information. I'll put my email down. That's true. The September kit is a fabric sewing journal, so it does coincide with uh, Rosemary's fabric book. That's a really good point. Oh, that's oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> So you can make snippets to put into your fabric journal. You can make little snippet tabs or, oh. All right, Josie is going to join our tag swap. And so you need to make 12 tags by September, get them to Kathy by September 18th. And it's black and white and one pop of color. It could be anything, paper, paint mediums whatever you want 
And, and no bigger than a size eight tag. Oh, yeah. It could be and then I will send the information. Send me an email, Josie, and I'll get the details out to you. There's her email, Josie. Grab that. Yeah, so, or Eileen's going to actually work on her. Hi, Sharon. How are you? We do have an amazing community, Janet. We're very blessed. We are. We're very blessed with our group. And it's fun that when you're, you know, when you get all the tags or if you do the fabric, you're just going to love getting everyone's stuff. And it's just gonna, it makes you, like I said, it, it not only are we, already together and that we're also just a community it's fun to share things too it makes it you know even more real right so okay i just put up thanks helen i just put up at the bottom of the screen the details of the swap my tags are now packed up and heading to the post oh my gosh all these overachievers okay you got I carla said that for me. Uh, carla you want to do the snip Carla's for the snippets. Carla, are you in for the snippets that you're talking about being emailed about? Or the tags? Yeah, Carla. Oh, and Nancy. Oh, I have right Nancy now. I miss Nancy for the snippets. Okay. Nancy with, and um, Carla, I think she's talking about the snippets. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Carla. We got you down. Hey, Molly, chat's moving. Yeah. I've missed some. Who's streaming? I think Lena. Um, Lena, are you lurking? Um, I think Lena's streaming at one. Hopefully she is. She's had some fun streams the past couple weeks. Okay. Uh, she likes the two inches, too. Okay. So she, she liked that. It's good to have some input. So we'll keep the two inches then. She likes Okay. That. I missed information on the snippets. Okay, so the information, look on the screen, Carla. I put the, oh, that's the tag. Snippets are two inches of material, two, two by 12 inches of material, enough yeah. for how many people are in the swap, and then everybody gets that amount back. Two by 12, yeah. Karen Sue cut out her tags yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Carla. Okay, so let me take, oh, let me do this. Okay, so if it's for Nancy. Okay, that was right. One, two, two inches, inches eight, seven, eight, nine, by 12 inches. 17, 18, and then counting uh, us on there, we get 20. That's awesome. We have 20 people with the snippets. Change. And then here we go with that. Okay. When you see you, she, she no, got. No, that shouldn't be 12 feet. That should be 12 inches, <laughs> not 12 feet. <laughs> <laughs> if you see Janet gather up all her little snippets and put them in a jar, I was so jealous. I was like, oh, man. As like she gathered them up, put them in there. I was like, I, I need those in my life. So. <laughs> I was like, I need those. Like, imagine where she has a couple little buttons on there or whatever. Like, I need those. It looks so cute. That was what I was thinking when she put them away. I need those. <laughs> there. Two inches by 12 inches. Thank you for putting that in. There. So then if anyone could just uh, leave a... Um, let us know Friday or leave something in um, the messages below for Kathy or me. We'll, either one of us will see it, either channel. Yeah, and you know what? Today I'm going to figure out how to add like a description. I'll put a description of the, the tag swap and then the snippet information too. Yeah, that's, it's pretty easy. Oh, this will be fun. And I'm glad Rosemary popped in. That'll be a fun thing to add to your For anyone who's in the journals. And that and doing that, they can definitely add it to yeah. their book. To the caboodle. Oh fine. Or you can do add it to your paper journals or just 
having to look at. It's just fun to think about that, you know, just just to have that. I like, you know, I started looking at fabric yesterday. I could see, I was just like, I don't sew, so I don't spend a lot of time in the fabric department normally. But boy, when I start looking, there's some so many neat fabrics. That you don't oh, Colleen, do you have Patty Marshall? Put Patty down. Oh, no, I did not get okay. Patty. So now we I got Linda. Oh, did I skip Linda? Wait a minute. She told me that earlier. Yep, I did. Hello. Uh, Patty. I'm on okay. this list, which I'm going to go and double check myself. Okay, Linda Morrell and then Patty. They can be Kimberly. one inch or two inch. And Janet Nash. Well, I forgot to move her over. It's a good thing I have two lists. And Janet Nash. Oh, I got Janet on there. Whoops. I would say That's no big. bigger than two inches, no less than one. One to two inches and six to 12 inches long. Okay, it brings it up to 22. Cool. And we'll have, we'll write, we'll have a, we'll send out all the details to everybody. Oh, yeah. If you go live, Devin, how are we going to know? Anyway, everyone subscribe to her channel. Then you'll know when she goes live. Let me see if I can find it. So I do subscribe to Devin. Let's see if I can find her. It's Devin Rex for Art is her channel. Oh, here. Let's see. I'm not used to using my iPad. I'm trying to figure out how I. Here, I got it. Colleen. Copy paste down. I don't do that normally on my iPad. Devin Rex for Art is her channel. And subscribe to her. And then you'll get a notification, hopefully, which goes live. I don't always get notifications. I definitely did not get one from, um, like, from Laura when she went live the other day. I had to go literally click on her name and then go to her channel, and then the live showed up. It's ridiculous. Okay, Rosemary got here late. You're, what we're doing is we're swapping with multiple people. Everybody... We're going to figure out how many people want to be in the swap. Right now we have 22. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, everybody sends 22 pieces of material, one to two inches by 12 inches to Colleen. And then after we get everybody's swatches, we'll divide it up. And then everybody will get 22 different pieces of swatches back. So it's like an ATC swap, but it's with little snippets of material. So that way people can have different kind of colored snippets to make their their embellishments and stuff. Yeah. Does and that make sense, hopefully? You can hand sew them or machine stitch them. So they'll look kind of all like cute and all scrunchy like this and add some buttons on the end and then you can make little tabs with them in your books. I so right that, now yeah. you would send 22 little pieces of material to Colleen, all the same, all the same material, and then you would receive back 22 different pieces of material between one inches, one to two inches wide and 12 inches long. Now, if you don't have enough, you can always do break it. And depending on how many we have, you could always do two things if you don't have enough. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 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 So if you think I have enough for 10 and not 20, then you could do half one and half the other. Yes. Yeah. That worked out. Okay. Okay, she's got to figure out like how she's gonna like set up the camera, plug it in, get it in her computer, and then figure out how to get her desk. I can't wait till she streams live. 
but she's doing it from her phone now. Her recordings are from her phone. And so now she'll be able to uh, stream, you know, with a stream from her. I can't wait. Yes, Rosemary. It's a, I know it, it was, we're just I'm figuring sorry. out. It's a fabric swap, not a snippet roll, but we're going to use the fabric to make snippets. I guess we should do, it should be fab, just put fabric exchange. Fabric exchange for snippets. Yeah, for snippets, we'll call it. Okay. Thanks, Rosemary. Yeah, because it is, I wasn't, I didn't even know what a snippet really was until the other day, so. Well, we figure if they're flat, they'll be easier to mail. Right, versus, and this way we'll have all different ones to versus, make you know, our own snippets. Yeah, they can make their own. Because then they could add what, because then, because you really want to add some embellishments to, to them, and I would add bulk to the package you know, to the envelope. And if you leave them flat, you could send literally one envelope with one stamp to max to mail it to everybody. It'd be easy peasy and cheap. Yeah. Well, you could do, I was thinking that too, it's same piece of fabric, or if you wanted to, you could, if we have, depending on how many we have, you could do two pieces. That was Patty Marshall Lori. <coughs> Patty Marshall, get in contact with Lori. I can um, I can exchange um, emails for you if you want. I've got both of yours. If you don't want to put it up in chat. Yeah, different kinds of right fabric could be, you know, or if you don't have enough, you could do some laces too. Um, we're doing a cash register tape snippet. Snippet. I've never from from actual register tape. Oh. So are they are you paint are you painting them and stuff and then people then make them up into a snippet? That's interesting. Hey Lori, I know Patty. I'll send her your email. I like the look. Who's doing that swap? That's a neat one. Cash register swap. Register. Is it cash tape. register snippets? Tape. Cash register tape snippets. That's interesting. That is interesting. You, that would be fun. You could like spray them and stuff. Use paints and sprays, and then they, but not too thick. Not probably no paste or nothing. Just paints and sprays. Paper. You could. Fold them up. Oh, Sharon. Jersey wants to know what your uh, name of your Etsy shop is. <laughs> may not, you may not have enough fabric, Eileen. <laughs> Yeah, you could. And if anyone adds extra, if people end up sending more than what the minimum is, then we can divide that up too. Yeah, we'll divide it all up between. Yeah, so if someone just wants to send more than that, then we can divide, we'll divide it up. If you want, you know, if someone wants to be generous and send extra, we'll divide it up evenly. Eileen can hook you up. Yeah, she had some beautiful fabrics. So, like, this was one of them that, like, this fabric I got from one of the sales. Like, this kind of reminds me of Eileen's, where it's all painty. Oh, is that Sharon's fabric? Uh, or whose fabric is that? I remember who I got this from. It was on the auction. This looks really good with your page sitting there. Oh, it does. I need that for my, I need that to go with my, yeah, my folder. Look at that. I need to send you some uh, snippets of this one to put with your folder. Look how that goes with your colors. Oh, I love okay. that. Yeah, I'll have to send that, some of that to you. You Thank can make you. little snippets. Okay. Yeah, I got this from an auction. It was a Barbara. It was Barbara. There was two Barbaras I bought stuff from. 
and they were spelled differently. Or Aaron Klossner. I don't think it was Aaron. It was I think it was I think it was Barbara. Oh yeah, because I could make a snippet. Look at Colleen. Here's the first page. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna put some doors in here because this is for our August. Oh, this is the teak. That's beautiful. I don't even know what I ordered. I just loved it. Oh, that it would look good. Look, it goes, it matches that too. I know. I'll do a little bit of snippet here so it sticks out, and then you'll see it on the cover. Yeah, I'll send you some of this. That's funny. And then here I've got this. So this is what I was going to work on today was just my uh, August file folder. And this is what I've got done so yeah, far. This will look good. I think this is made for your folder. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, she has some other stuff too. That, but this one, I fell in love with it. If you see this all, it was it like watercolor, mixed media, pretty. Oh, thanks, Helen. Janice, what was your question? I missed it. And then here's, here's the back page. And I found this was in, I think this was in one of the flow books. That kind of matches the cover. So I glued this in and then I got a, uh, this is a postcard I got a few years back from my daughter. So I'm going to clip that in here. I'm looking for it. I, I know I gotta leave. Oh, did I paint? Okay, that my it's folder on the left screen painted our collage. Okay, this folder is actually I am a member of Kathy Arbor's um, art classes on her YouTube group, and this was her July class. She does one class a month for subscribers, and she. Minutes. Walked us through this and um, step by step showed us how to. The top part is painted, and then this is all paper piecing with papers I had and different jelly prints I did. And then we went back over the top and did some shading. This is done with a Posca pen, so it's a combination of acrylic paint <clears throat> and collage. And this is class by Kathy Arbor, and it's twenty dollars. She said, "Yeah, it's in her. If you're uh, if you're a monthly subscriber, she has three different levels, and this was the top level class." And Helen just posted a link to Kathy Arbor's class. This is the second class. The first class we did a butterfly pop up, which is fun. And then I think we've got another class coming. I was going to say Kathy Arbor on Instagram has hers posted there. Yeah, so check that out. Um, and then the class, if you can't make the class, the videos, you have the class forever. But Kathy, we did this. Uh, she goes step by step with you through the whole class. It took about two hours and I was able, this is what I, I was, this is what I got, what I finished in two oh, hours. I think that she signed up for that. Oh, okay, cool. You always could do is just sign up and then you could just do it if you don't like the next class. Or, you know, I mean, you could cancel and re sign up. And yeah, you can do it month to month. And there's different levels too. But the, the top level is you get full instruction every yeah. month. Okay. Oh, so thank you, Josie. I'll get that information out to you. I will see you guys later. I have a hair appointment. And Bye, I will, Thanks. We'll see you later. At one o'clock is um, go over to Lena's. I know, and I will see you guys Friday at ten a.m. Sounds good, Colleen. Have fun okay. getting your hair done. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for all the snippet information. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Okay. All right. Anybody have any more questions? I got to put some stuff on IG. Kathy A is awesome. Yes, Kathy Arbor is awesome. And everybody, post post your artwork on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, put it in Twitter or Facebook. But we love seeing everybody's art. Bye, Colleen. See you Friday. So I think... Thank you. I do follow. Okay, good. Good. All right. So I think I'm going to get going. I'm going to 
update the tag swap, sent out emails to everybody, and I'm going to work on my, finish up my August folder today, I think. So far, it's going to be a combination of artwork I did in August, which is this, and then some doors to go along with Rosemary's Caboodle Kit theme, and just some fun summer stuff. Oh, here. Here's some doors. Oh, you're welcome, Devin. Thanks, everybody, for coming. And we didn't do a whole lot of art, but we talked a lot and got some good ideas, shared a lot of stuff. So everybody have fun. And we'll see you later. See you at Colleen's on Friday. And have fun doing art and making your tags. See you guys later. Thanks for coming.